Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome to a game called Dreadweight. Now, this comes from the same developer that made Cookie Companions, so I can't wait to try this out. You play as four friends that are in a mansion, and I think it's haunted. We are going to figure out what's going on right now, if you guys cool that you down with that. Everybody get ready and buckle up, because here we go. Have you played Cooking Companions before? Yes, but I kind of want to know what happens when I say no. All right. Uh-oh. It has begun. He already ate the homie's ass. Uh oh It's another cannibal story. I hope it is. I enjoy cannibal stories. Does that make me a sicko? I might be a sicko. Because I like a good cannibal story. I enjoy My it when Raya. people start off kind of cool. And then they're like, you know what? We might have to eat the homie's ass tonight. Anatoly. Gregor. Can you hear them? Not really. Oh, nice. It's the potato. I don't remember their names. Didn't they die of natural causes? Drowning? You cough, spraying potato in a fine mist. At least you're awake now. Sleepwalking again. Probably a horrific sight for bystanders. You ask potato where you are. Northwest from the cabin. You ask potato about the note on the wall. What note? I forgot the voice I gave Potato, but we're rolling with that one. Dearest, the name is smudged out. I know you're still upset about Ivan. I'm asking the impossible, but please, forgive me and let's end this madness. We're different, to lose track of time, to let feuds rot inside of us, undying, while the rest of the world moves on. This isn't healthy. It took me ages to learn this. I'm asking you, please, to let this one die. Sincerely, the name is illegible. We need to repay him for Ivan. Remember? Maybe get a nice meal there too. Patience. I'm sure he'll have guests as well. I have a surprise for you when you get there. You're going to love it. I promise. I didn't even know that this was a direct sequel to Cooking Companions, so it actually makes it a lot cooler. So it's four people probably in the same premise as Cooking Companions. So hopefully, God damn! What the heck? I'll eat what she's eating. If it's people, hey, sign me up. Welcome to my mansion. It's in dire needs of repair, but I think you'll find that certain rooms are furnished and accommodating. Those boulders are distracting right now. Like, I can feel the veins popping out from those biceps. I need that workout routine ASAP because these guns, these guns don't turn on nuns. And shout out to all my nuns out there. I'll see you Sunday, ladies. It's in dire need of repair, but I think you'll find that certain rooms are furnished and accommodating. I'd like to introduce you to my business acquaintance, Renata. Nice to meet you. Your name was... It's... Uh... Don't mind her, Renata. She's exhausted from traveling earlier. Isn't that right? Yeah. My head is pounding. We'll get that treated immediately by our on-staff doctor, Dimitri. Oh no, I don't trust anybody named- Hey, why do your eyes look like that? I think we have some medication that can help with that. Are you thirsty? You nod. Here's a cup of water. Try to stay hydrated. I don't even know if that sounds like the accent a Dimitri would have, but we are giving that voice to this bullcut haired fuckboy. You quickly gulp down the water. Feeling a little tickle in the back of your throat. Hey, Thank you! I think I swallowed some hair. Hey, That was probably mine. Sorry. And last, but certainly not least, the world's biggest Sandman fan, Gisela. She's also a great bodyguard. Nice to meet you. Sandman? Like the children's show? Hey! Kids and adults love that show! When the show is over, it's time for bed. You have a bodyguard? Best security in the world. When your investments mature enough, you'll find that the death threats start pouring in. Who would want you dead? Who would want you dead? Old business partners, past lovers. Don't give me that winky face. I've been around long enough to keep making enemies. Don't worry. As long as I'm here, you're safe. We had someone break in last month. Scared everyone here. Gisela fractured his skull, then beat him to death as he tried to crawl away. Wow, that sounds fantastic. Why didn't you wait for the police? Don't you remember the boat ride earlier? 
This mansion is on an island. No way for anyone to reach us in time. I... Ah, oh, impeccable timing, Dimitri. Take one of these in the morning with some food. It will help with the headache. Thank you. Have you experienced any negative symptoms since arriving? Nausea? Vomiting? They didn't puke the entire ride over. Those waters are awful this time of year. That's a miracle. No, I think I'm fine. If you notice anything different or unpleasant, please don't hesitate to tell one of us. Thank you, Dimitri. Best doctor in the business. Please make yourself at home. We are delighted to have you here. My apologies. There's a phone upstairs that will ring until you pick up the receiver. Can you do me a favor and pick it up? Sure. Quest received. Stop the ringing. Or it could be called quest received. Answer the phone. Thank you. Please don't mind the trash and uh, holes up there. I've probably seen mess here. <laughs> You head upstairs to check out the phone. Interesting four characters right there. I definitely want to get to know Gisela a little bit better. The ringing echoes down the hallway. There it is. Who could be calling at this hour? Gen Zers are like, what is that? Answer it? Yes. Oh, great. Wrong number? You head back to the foyer. I didn't even know how to pronounce that a couple years ago, but I remember somebody in the comments called me a dumbass for not knowing how to pronounce foyer, and I was calling it foyer. So foyer, a duck? <coughs> Who the hell are you? You tell him. Is that so? I'm Maximilian. Nice to meet you. Max who quacks? Nice to meet you. <coughs> it's Maximilian. I'm not calling a talking duck Maximilian. Let's go with Max then. How can you talk? That's a secret. Besides, the others won't believe you if you tell them. I've lived here for quite some time. And you know what? I'm sick of it. I just want to leave this mansion and go somewhere warm. You ask why he doesn't just fly off the island. What a dumb suggestion. Did you bump your head earlier? Kurt would annihilate me. He'd probably get his bodyguard to lock me in a birdcage. Or something worse. If you want to be useful, just open the box under my feet. It's been ages, so I can't remember how to unlock it. Just get it open. You ask why you'd help a desperate talking duck. Because I have a cool gift for you. May this fortify our new friendship. You were gifted a sturdy rope. Okay, rope that gets sturdy. Add it to your inventory. Yes, I guess. Thank you for that rope, sir. You added the sturdy rope to your inventory. Someone once told me that rope could keep witches at bay. But that's a rumor. In order to ward off witches, I let this rope boil in a pot with everything. Garlic, salts, forest herbs, wool of bats. Stunk up the cellar for months. The sturdy rope feels absolutely revolting. Pieces of burned garlic cling to it. This reeks. I thought you just boiled it. Seared it in a pool of butter afterwards. You're looking at burned garlic. I'm looking at a five-star rope. Why would I accept this? And why would I listen to a talking duck? Because I'm the smartest creature in this mansion. If you help me out, I'll tell you how to escape to safety. Why would I need to escape to safety? You'll see. The quicker you help me, the quicker you can leave this place. Later! How did I even get here? You wonder if what you just saw was real. Talking ducks? Shouldn't be brought up to anyone. You head back to the foyer. Thanks for taking care of that. Who called? Nobody. Wrong number. No, it was the HOA. They said your grass is getting too long. Hopefully someone isn't tapping the phone here. <laughs> he sounds like he would laugh like that. Like an evil, maniacal laugh like that. Because he already looks so goddamn evil. Quest completed. Stop the ringing. If all these quests are this simple, I'm about to be a master at this bitch. Again, welcome. And please don't hesitate to make yourself at home. Now, if you excuse me, need to take care of some paperwork. Later! That doesn't sound like something a boss would say that needs to take care of paperwork. He's like, I need to take care of some paperwork. Later! 
Kurt goes up the staircase, closing the door to his office. He's such an amazing person. Pays on time, too! Heh. <laughs> what do you think of him? He's nice. He's messed up! What if I say that? I think Gisela is gonna punch me in the face. I'm gonna say... He's nice. In more ways than one. I'm sorry, everyone. How did you meet him? I can't remember the exact date, but he asked me to get his finances in order. He needed an assistant to help him treat patients that he brought here. I was carrying two gigantic trees around while working at a lumber yard. He came out of nowhere and asked to see how I could handle an axe. So you use an axe to protect him? Hell no! Axe is the backup. Fists are the primary. Yeah, those cannons? Gisela is highly skilled at close quarters combat. If we had a morgue here, I'd have a disgusting collection of corpses to show you. Are intruders really that big of a deal here? You'd be surprised who comes snooping around the mansion. How many people want him dead? He ticked off a few people to afford a mansion this big. Please, enjoy your stay here. Let us know if you have any questions, okay? Now if you excuse me, need to take care of some things. Later! Why is everybody saying later? The three head off in different directions, leaving you alone. Who do you want to talk to? Renata, Kurt, Dimitri, or Gisela? I do want to know Gisela, and I know everybody watching this wants to know Gisela too. We need to know that workout routine. Hey! Welcome to the cellar. Watch your step! Quite the collection. How old are the bottles? Ancient! Kurt doesn't drink, so it just sits here until he needs to sell a bottle. They're expensive? Some bottles could buy this mansion. Not fix up the damage, though. That stuff is permanent. Got any questions about the manor? I know this place like the back of my hand. Do you like being a bodyguard? Why is the mansion so damaged? Tell me about the others. I don't have any other questions. Can you at least tell me how much protein you're taking? Do you like being a bodyguard? Hell yes! Except for the last intruder we had. He... I... Uh... Do you want the clean version? Or the real one? Give me that nasty version. Took Dimitri five hours to clean the blood stains out later. Some prefer to use guns or knives. But I'll always prefer using my bare hands. Less cleanup and it's... Sort of fun to see their eyes filled with fear and panic. Jesus. Crush the guy's head like a grape. That's sick. Don't yuck my yum. It's not for everyone, but a job is a job. Nobody talks to me about wet work. Even if you think it's gross, I think it's very sweet to ask. I'm paid to protect Kurt, but let me be your extra security here. Okay? Sure. It looks like Gisela will remember that. Great, thanks. Your relationship is stronger. Yeah, buddy. Look how strong it is. Look how strong this relationship is. Ooh, flex those guns, baby. Do you see the hole on your right? Yeah, that big asshole. Exposed electrical cords, not secure. 10 point buck, nice. Wow, you did that? Smashed a guy right through the brick wall. Thankfully, the cleanup wasn't too bad. Made Dimitri pull out the body though. I'm afraid of spiders and didn't want to take any chances. This girl beats people until their eyes fill up with blood, but a little spider? Nah. Oh, found this behind one of the crates. Do you want it? You found a switch. Yeah, thanks. I definitely need that switch for my room. Add the switch to your inventory? I mean, if I say no, I think I'm going to get punched in the face. You added the switch to your inventory. That is the most unique gift anybody's ever given me. I don't know whether to feel honored or just completely like I'm on another planet. Why is the mansion so damaged? There were a series of accidents here that caused the house to become damaged and open to the elements. Kurt didn't have the money to repair antique wood floors or broken walls, so unfortunately the manor is decaying. Doesn't he have the money to just bulldoze it and start another mansion? No. Kurt is only here a few months per year, so he probably would view that as a huge waste of money. I think he just wants to focus on his experiments. Tell me about the others. Hmm, well there's Kurt. He pays the bills. Renata is in charge of getting the mansion stocked with food during visits, along with important business deals. 
Dimitri is a complete nerd, but he's really good at getting blood stains out of things. Oops, didn't even realize that the camera was off. That's it? Kurt doesn't pay me to keep tabs on staff. Sorry! No, I mean Dimitri. He's only good at getting blood stains out of things? Pretty much. Putting that chemistry background to work. Gisela, I don't have any other questions. No problem. Huh? What was that? Sounds like it was coming from the foyer. Let's go check it out. You follow Giselle upstairs. To the foyer we go! Finally, let's hit the spot. It's time to punish him for what he did to you with Ivan. You grip the knife so tightly your hands begin to shake. Once everything is finished, we'll have a big meal to celebrate. I don't need to tell you how difficult this will be. Do not disappoint me. I have a surprise for you. Close your eye. I only have one eye? The fuck, I'm a one-eyed monster? Okay. My bad, I'm a cyclops. Didn't even know. It really be your own. Like, I thought I was a two-eyed monster this whole time. At the very least, three. Hello, everybody. How's it going? Champettes. Speak up. Always fear. Onion is near. Like Cornbread used to say. I'm dying to meet him. Always wary, raspberry! Are they real? Listen, I know this might be a little bit of a shock, but there's been a few changes to the group. I am now leader of the Chompettes. You asked Potato how that happened. We had an election, Cabbage versus me. He threatened us with the knife! He terrifies me, I'm sorry! It was three votes against two. I'm... I'm sorry, Chompettes. As leader of the Chompettes, it's important we all help her out at the mansion. The games are over. It's time to slaughter everyone that has wronged us. You ask Cabbage what she thinks about this direction. The leader dictates our position with you. You ask Potato when the next election is. The next election occurs... 1,000 years from now. Oh, that's it? Okay, cool. It will be a miracle if you survive that long. Well, my great-grandpappy survived. I'm kidding. 1,000 years. Your brain has become softer and more full of holes. Like a molding sponge, it's important that it absorbs the right kind of material. I've brought them back to help guide you in the right direction. You ask how? That's my secret. I'll make you a deal. If you kill everyone in the mansion, I'll get them to leave you alone again. But if you fail, we'll get to play ghosts in the graveyard forever. Your stench will reach new heights. We can memorize the thousands of cornbreads punch jokes. Is that a fair trade? You nod. Excellent. Quest completed, food focus. He's as bony as you, so this should be an easy one. Let's frighten them first. That usually leads to mistakes being made. Once they're in a state of panic, we can pick them off one by one until only he's left. Wow, these vegetables are sick fucks. This is why I don't even eat vegetables, you nod. No use going after him right away. He'll tell us where it is. Just need to take care of the others. All right, thank you, Potato Sir. She smashed the front door locks. Probably using her bare hands. She's going to kill all of us. She broke through multiple deadbolts. The day has finally come. I'm ready. Let her in here. No, that isn't going to work. I feel like I'm out of the loop here. Who is she? She goes by many names. Witch, Crone, Bony Knees. What a nickname, Bony Knees? But her real name is Baba Yaga. Many countries refuse to publish stories about her out of fear of retribution. But she's very real. An ancient witch with an unsatiable appetite. She used to just lure victims to her cabin, ultimately devouring them. But something changed. Decades ago, she left her cabin, like the old days, slaughtering everyone in her path. 
The first city she terrorized was Zakopane in Poland. Why does Dimitri keep looking at me like that? Calm down, my boy. It was horrific. She broke down doors with her bare hands, clawing her way inside homes and businesses. It rained for a hundred days after she arrived at the city, turning the city into an inhabitable wetland. Any survivors that attempted to escape were hunted down. Only a handful of people remained by the end. The massacre is known as the Summer of Rain in Poland. I hid a few weapons around the house in case something like this happened. There's some useful items in the upstairs hallway. I think you should check there first. Afterwards, we can decide on which weapons to find. Just in case you need to open something, here's a bolt cutter. Why do you have a bolt cutter laying around? Not a fan of chains or locks. You found the bolt cutter. I didn't find shit. That was basically handed to me like it was a Christmas gift. Add it to your inventory? See. You added the bolt cutter to your inventory. Smart. Uh. Please avoid cutting any padlocks you find on doors. You hiding something? No. I can't remember the location, but I wouldn't want you wandering into any areas that could be deadly. Deadly? Areas with holes, toxic gases, crumbling ceilings. You sound like you really need to repair this dump. You're right. Kurt, I think we should fortify the mansion. That's a great idea, Gisela. Can you help her with that? Of course. Thank you. You follow Gisela to the windows. I feel like this is a round of zombies from Call of Duty or some shit. Take her right at the end of the hallway. Can you answer that first? On it. There it is. Let's pick it up. Answer it? Yes. Haunted as fuck mansion, how may I take your call? Who the fuck was that? Wrong number? Hey! Hey. <laughs> There's a talking rabbit too? Yes! My name's Clover. I take it you met my associate, Max? Well, intention, but unfortunately his focus is my skyrod. You ask Clover what she means. He seems eager to jump at every request Kurt makes. I'm sorry to say, but you have no chance of defeating Baba Yaga. She may be ancient, but even working together, we will never be able to stop her wrath. I am not going to let somebody named Bony Knees, ancient as fuck, old dusty hag, beat me. Like, come on now, just one good punch to the throat? That takes him out, I don't care. Sorry to bring you the bad news. However, we're only standing in the way of her goal. Kurt. Which means... It means she'll spare us. If Kurt is killed. Absolutely not. Consider it done. I want to know who Baba Yaga is though. Like, is she cute? Consider it done. Excellent. You'll need to first get rid of Gisela, which is no easy task. Should I really be trusting these Disney animal characters? I'd recommend using her as bait for Baba Yaga or waiting for a good opportunity. I do like saying Baba Yaga though. It just rolls off the tongue. Be warned, even weapons like guns won't work against her. She's far too fast. You'll be disarmed immediately. Once Giselle is gone, you can hide while Baba Yaga finishes him or take care of Kurt yourself. I'll tell you how to get off this island if you help me out. Understood? You nod. Wonderful! Sorry to drop this on you so quickly. As you'll find out soon, most people that make it to this mansion don't live long. So I wanted to make my case early. Here, take this. You found the tarnished pendant. Can somebody give me a gun? Add it to your inventory? Yes. Can somebody like strap me up please? You added the tarnished pendant to your inventory. Huh. Gisela's gonna wonder where you are. Go help her for now. Later! Why does everybody say later? Is that the go-to sayonara mother sucker? It might be best to not tell anyone about the talking duck and rabbit. You head over to Gisela. Why not? Why can't we tell them? That would've been- DAMN! Hey! I figure nailing up the windows will prevent her from getting in easier. But I'm almost out of nails. There was a bucket in the cellar. Can you grab some? Sure. Awesome! Don't get lost, okay? I won't. You head downstairs to get the nails. 
Why was there even an option to say yes or no? If I said no, I would have got hammered in the skull. The nails must be around here somewhere. Ah, there they are. Sounds like a fuse was blown. You got the bucket o' nails. <laughs> the bucket o' nails. <laughs> Why is this creepy though? Added bucket o' nails. You go back upstairs to Gisela. But nothing creepy happened down there? All right, welcome back. Got something for me? Tutorial, click on the bucket to give the nails to Gisela. All right, why do I have a whole outline of a realistic heart? Why is that like that? Okay, be still my beating heart. Here you go. You give Gisela the rope? I gave her the nails, the bucket of nails. Why the hell does this rope stink so bad? Cause it's been in my asshole. Why do you think it stinks? Take it back. You take back the rope. Sorry, Gisela. That's okay. Okay, give the bucket of nails. You give Gisela the nails. Lifesaver, thank you. It looks like Gisela will remember that. Is Gisela gonna remember the stinky ass rope too? Please don't. But my relationship is stronger. Look how much stronger that relationship is. Oh yeah, flex those guns, Jay. No problem. But I think the fuse box is having issues. We'll fix that later. Thanks for letting me know. Of course. I found this in the same spot as the hammer. Do you want it? You found the wrench. Add it to your inventory? I wonder why you can say no. Like, are these cursed items or something? Is it gonna bring me bad luck if I have it in my system? You added the wrench to your inventory. Going to finish with these boards. You go meet up with the others. You leave to go to the foyer. I love the foyer. It's my favorite thing to say, the foyer. She's here. I can hear her creeping around. I'll stay here in the foyer with Gisela. There's some weapons hidden in the cellar and upstairs. Please assist either Renata or Dimitri in finding one. Who do you want to go with? I guess we'll go with Renata. Sounds good. Come with me. You head upstairs with Renata. I am not going down to the basement again. Especially with no lights. No thank you. Alright. Let's see. He usually keeps another gun under one of those pillows. Let me get one. Let me get one of those guns. It's gone. Maybe Kurt took it and forgot. Maybe the Tooth Fairy grabbed it under his pillow. Or Baba Yaga took it and he wasn't looking. Imagine Baba Yaga, an ancient old hag strapped up like this. Like, come on now, I need to see that. That's possible, but the balcony windows are locked. Let's get back to the foyer. Right. You cautiously head back downstairs, <laughs> listening closely for any other noises. What is that noise though? I already hear Baba Yaga. Kurt, what was that noise? I... Dimitri is dead. Damn it, now I can't do that accent no more. What? We found some blood by one of the crates, but can't find the body. We saw him go downstairs, and as you know, there's not much room down there. She must have stabbed him and hid the body somewhere. Besides the staircase, are there any exits she could have used? Yes. This place is falling apart, so there's unintended ways to move throughout it. So... She could be lurking anywhere. Tutorial. When Baba Yaga is around, it's important to act quickly and wisely. Being indecisive may result in your death or something far worse. What's worse than death? There's something moving down there. Um, um, patch it up? Hello? I don't want anything to pop out. What's going on? Uh-oh. A cold wind blows up through the hole. Something is approaching. Through the hole?! She's messing with the power. Renata, Gisela, I need you here. Can you go downstairs and try tinkering with the fuse box? Me? Alone? I can't afford to lose Renata, and Gisela is my only protection. But what about me? Try your best and yell upstairs if she shows up, okay? Don't worry. I'll run down if you make any noises. Did that really help Dimitri when he was running down and making noises? Besides, she's slow. You can outrun an elderly woman, right? How about we all gang up on her? Four is better than one. I just say we gang up on her, start beating her ass, and let her know that we're the real Baba Yagas. You know, we let our nuts hang. Daddy, chill. You nod. I don't agree with that assessment, but thank you. Be quick on your feet. If you don't have a weapon, run. Oh, forgot to give this to you. Found this fuse in the closet. I bought a bunch of them. The fuse box burns through them pretty quickly. You found the fuse. Yes, thank you so much. You run out of inventory space. What? Um, I don't know. I 
Uh, I guess I'll drop... I have no idea. The bolt cutter thing? Yeah, permanently destroyed the bolt cutter. That was the wrong thing to do. I feel so sad now. You head downstairs to fix the power. Oh boy. Hopefully the fuse box doesn't have a little bolt cutting thing on it. They were right. The generator has turned silent. Baba Yaga? Where are you? Don't do this to me. Looks like there's something wrong with the fuse box. Tutorial. Spirits get more aggressive in darkness. If the problem in front of you isn't solved in a timely manner, there will be dire consequences. Okay, well, let me make sure they don't become dire. Fits perfectly. Great. What about this? Okay, put the switch inside the fuse box. Build the switch. Yes. Huh? Hello? What the fuck? <laughs> Who was that? Oh, I think that was Dimitri. Hey, 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 go Dimitri, go Dimitri. That's crazy, so was it supposed to end like that no matter what? You know what? Let me try going downstairs with Dimitri <laughs> instead of upstairs with Renata. The game will not end when attacked. Your story will continue to progress. No frustrating game over screens or roadblocks. Players that encounter spirits will be rewarded with additional story and character backgrounds. Wish list or back the Kickstarter if you enjoyed the Dreadweight demo. Thanks for playing. That was really good. Yeah, I'll leave the Kickstarter in the description box below. Dear Dream, it looks like they have another potential banger on their hands. I really enjoyed that. But I want to go back and go with Dimitri downstairs instead of Renata upstairs. Maybe that'll actually help me out. See the intro from Baba Yaga's perspective? <coughs> See the intro from Baba Yaga's perspective. Wait a minute, we saw the same intro twice. So does that mean that we're Baba Yaga? So before we actually go downstairs with Dimitri instead of upstairs with Renata, I actually chose to try to get to know Dimitri a little bit better. And it says, where did he go? In the upstairs hallway. You head upstairs. I just want to know what he's all about. He seems like he's an interesting character. Hey, wanted to thank you again for coming with us. No problem, D. It's Dimitri. Dimitri, I'm so sorry. Don't worry, not a very common name here, haha. <laughs> How long have you been a doctor? Let's see, about 12 years? That's not what your eyes are telling me. Feels like yesterday. I'm impressed. How did you get a license that early? I think he's lying to me. Hard work and nepotism. Uh, just messing with you, haha. <laughs> I really love working here. No need to do small talk with patients. Just working with Kurt until someone here is injured. Got any other questions for me? Wait, Kurt said that? Where are you from? My parents come from the east. That's cool. I wish they were still around to see how far I've come. Oh well. No coming back once you're cremated. What's on my paperwork, doctor? Let's see here. Ha, huh, this dude just carries that around? Healthy lungs, good eyesight. Oh my. This is a little disturbing. What's wrong? It's, uh, your heart rate seems to be fast for your age. You don't know about that? You shake your head. Ah, uh, that's bad. I would limit physical activity like jogging or Hiking. Avoid horror books as well. You wouldn't want your heart beating out of your chest. Is there any way to improve it? Eating healthier and light exercise? Please let me know if you feel faint. Alright? Sure. I know. Health issues pop up from time to time, but we at least caught this early. We'll work on both of those things during your stay here. You nod in agreement. That's the spirit. It looks like Dimitri will remember that. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I feel like my relationship is getting stronger! How old are you? I'm 30. How old did you think I was? Uh... It's fine. I get it all the time. Haha. <laughs> 
Thankfully, I don't see any new patients here. So no awkward questions or wasted time with small talk. Just helping Kurt with research. I'll tell you if I got any symptoms later. Sounds good. I don't have any other questions. Great! Thanks for checking in on me. Haha. <laughs> if you experience any sort of illness, please seek me out first. No use worrying Kurt and the others. Oh! Come with me quick. Wanted to give you something. I wonder what it is. Because Gisela gave me a switch earlier. I wonder what Dimitri is going to give me. Let's see. I thought it was in this jaw. Ah, oh, here it is. You got the doctor's note. Add it to your inventory? The fuck am I going to do with a doctor's note? Oh, well. I got it. Can you give that to Renata? You nod. Thank you. Quest received. Passing notes. You head over to Renata. Alright, I guess we're gonna get to know Renata a little bit better. Hello. Give Renata the note? Yes. Got something for you. You hand Renata the doctor's note. Huh. Do you know what this is? I didn't open it. Just messing with you. Haha. <laughs> This is a list of foods to purchase. Pasta with tomato sauce, carrot soup. Dimitri only likes mild food. Nothing spicy. His loss, more for us. Ha ha ha. Thank you, I'll get this in. Quest completed, passing notes. Try to convince him to try foods with a little more variety later, okay? I don't think I can cure a picky eater. Just make fun of him, that usually does the trick. Sounds like it was coming from the foyer. Let's go check it out. You meet up with everyone in the foyer. And I think this is where the story connects back to where I played it the first time, right? Finally, this hit the spot. Yep. It's going to go back to Potato, and we are going to get to know them. Okay, so I'm going to go with Dimitri instead of Renata into the basement. Let's do it. Okay, so let's follow Dimitri downstairs. I was hoping you'd help me out. Basement is pretty scary, but I know it won't be with you. You head downstairs with Dimitri. I wonder if that means we can save him. And maybe Renata dies? Let's see. I think he hid something behind one of these crates. What? Kurt must have moved it. Or Baba Yaga took it. You think so? Yeah, I do. Shout out Baba Yaga one time. If she gets rid of all the weapons, we have nothing to defend ourselves with. <laughs> At least Gisela doesn't need any weapons. <laughs> you think she'll win against an ancient witch? I, uh... I guess I've never met an ancient witch before. <laughs> Sounds like it was coming from upstairs. Let's go check it out. So that means Renata's dead, right? Yup, she's dead. Kurt, what was that noise? I... Dimitri, Renata is dead. What? We found some blood up near the bedroom, but can't find her corpse. She must have stabbed her and hid the body somewhere. Besides the staircase, are there any exits she could have used? Yes. This place is falling apart, so there's unintended ways to move through it. Okay. So, let me see. Is it going to make me go back downstairs? It is. So, since Dimitri is not dead, and I think the ghost that attacked me was the corpse's ghost. Not the corpse's ghost, but the ghost of Dimitri. I think that we're going to be okay. And I don't think Renata is going to be in the basement down there, right? Oh, so I have to actually go upstairs and find the fuse myself. Let's see here. So Renata is going to be up here. Oh my god, no. Spirits get more aggressive in the darkness. Think and act swiftly to avoid a confrontation. Find the needed items for the fuse box. To stop searching, click on the icon at the bottom of the screen. Oh shoot, she's going to kill me. You open the box at the bottom. You found a dead mouse. Gross. You check the lower left drawer. It's empty. Uh-oh. I'm dead. Stop exploring? No. You check the upper left drawer. You found the lighter. Add it to your inventory? Yes. You added the lighter to your inventory. Okay, what else am I missing? You open the box on the bottom. You found a dead- Mother- How many dead mice are there?! What? Oh no, I'm dead. What? What just happened? What? What was that? Stop exploring. Oh no, I hear the ghost. You found the rusty key. Yes. You've run out of inventory space. Please select an item to discard. 
Uh, I don't know. The bolt cutter again? Sorry, bolt cutter. Bro, this ghost is getting horny. Bro, how am I finding these things? I don't want a chocolate bunny. Huh? Hello? Uh-oh. Yup. Someone's right there. Damn. The animations in this are really smooth. So that was the ghost of Renata. So I could have only chosen those two options. So I can't even see the ghost of Gisela or the ghost of Kurt. You try to retrace Kurt's steps upstairs. Kurt? What room are you in? First door on the left. You open the door slowly. I want to know if anything changes getting to know different characters. Greetings. Had some questions for you. Is this another interrogation? Ask away. How could you afford this mansion? Investments and accrued interest. I learned early on that it was crucial to establish funds needed to do what I wanted to do. What job pays so well? It's a blend of talents I've acquired over time. Some colleagues think of me as a scientist. Yes, let's go with scientist to simplify things. Got any other questions for me? What do you want to do? I've selected each of you to help study and further my research. Renata for her quick decision making. Dimitri for his genius. Gisela for her raw strength. And you! You've shown incredible courage, which is rare nowadays. Courage? Don't be humble. Yes. Don't you remember? Not really. That's okay. Dimitri will have a prescription for that. Haha. <laughs> Got any other questions for me? What do you want to do? Bored rich guy. Nice. Guilty! Do you have any other questions for me? I guess, what do you want to do again? I've already told you. Advance our pursuit of science. Pursuit of science? What do you want to do? Which science? Mix of chemistry and biology. How do we help with the research in that? I, uh... Looks like Kurt doesn't have an answer for you. I can keep asking it? It's complicated, but each of you are needed to test different scenarios. Which scenarios? Well, uh... If someone can get rid of spirits in the mansion. Spirits? You believe there's ghosts in the mansion? Uh... Maybe not ghosts, but something like that. There's no such thing as ghosts. Huh? Maybe you're right, haha. <laughs> You're pretty courageous, so you shouldn't have any issues with them. Looks like I picked correctly. You have the courage to challenge my superstitions. It looks like Kurt will remember that. And it looks like I will remember that this relationship is making me stronger! So I can keep asking, what do you want to do? I told you already! Kurt is getting pissed. And that's it. Ask away. Oh, why is the mansion so damaged? I'm afraid I couldn't find anyone to keep up with the routine maintenance. I used to only come here during the summer, but it's obvious it needs more upkeep than expected. Why couldn't you hire someone to maintain it? Well, I don't have any living spaces ready for a full-time staff. I don't have any other questions. Fantastic! Let me know if you think of any. What was that? Sounds like it was coming from the foyer! To the foyer we go! What if I say no to getting the bucket of nails? Why? You scared of going into a basement? Your risk of tetanus down there is high. But just watch where your feet are going. You convinced me. You begrudgingly head down the staircase. So it doesn't even matter. I didn't even have an option. Yes or no, I'm still coming down here. And then what, wrench? Nothing here to loosen? Oh well. That's it? I'm dead. Because I didn't go with Gisela and I couldn't get the switch. Well, never mind. I'm dead. Yep, there you go. Hello? Yeah, there he is. Okay, so I don't know what all the four endings are, but the good thing for you all is that the demo is obviously free, so you can check it out in the description box below. I'm excited for the full version of this game. This is called Dread Wait. If you all are excited for the full release of this and want me to play it, make sure you give this video one big fat like, and tell a friend today that Jay from the Cove Scouts is that dude!